Hello everyone. Welcome to the channel. My name is Vishali and today we will learn about PyTorch and a linear and the following are the topics that we are going to discuss. Firstly, we will discuss about PyTorch and a linear. After that, we will understand about PyTorch and a linear initialization and then we will discuss about PyTorch and a linear example and after that we will understand about PyTorch and a dot linear activation and after that we will understand about PyTorch and a dot linear sigmoid and in the last we will discuss about PyTorch and a dot linear in underscore features so without any delay let's jump to the topic and discuss about PyTorch and a linear before moving forward we should have a piece of knowledge about the linear equation. The linear equation is in the form of ax is equal to a b, where we can define x as an input and b as an output, and a is defined as a weight. PyTorch and a linear is a module which is used to create a single layer feed forward network with n inputs and m outputs. So let us understand the concept of PyTorch and a linear with the help of an example. Here is our example. Firstly, we will import the library as import torch. After importing the library, here we are declaring the variable by using torch.nn.linear function. And after that, we are printing the network structure weight and bias using print function. Now execute this cell and you can see that the network structure, the weight of the network and the bias of the network are printed on the screen. Now move forward and discuss about PyTorch and a linear initialization. As we know, the NL linear is a module which is used to create a single layer feed forward network with the help of n inputs and m outputs. PyTorch and a linear initialization in which we can also create the feed forward network with the help of the input and outputs. Now, let us understand the concept with the help of an example to clear our doubt. Here is our example. So firstly, we will import all the necessary libraries such as import torch and import torch.nn. After importing all the necessary libraries, here we are creating a model class using init and forward methods. After creating the model class, here we are declaring the variable by using torch.random function and then we are initializing the optimizer and after that we are declaring the output variable by using torch.random function and in the last we are declaring the variable by using model.linear.weight.clone function. Now execute this cell and you can see that the feed forward network is printed on the screen. Now move forward and discuss pytorch.linear example and discuss the pytorch anal linear example. The anal linear module is used to calculate the linear equation. The linear equation is in the form of ax is equal to b where x is input and b is output and a is the weight. The anal linear module is also defined as the single layer feed forward network. So let us understand the concept with the help of an example. Here is our example. So firstly, we will import all the necessary library such as import torch, import variable from torch.autograde, import torch.nn and import torch.nn.functional. After importing all the necessary libraries, here we are creating a model class by using init and forward methods. After creating a model class, here we are creating an instance of the model. And then we are declaring the parameter. And after that, we want to print 
the parameter length by using print function. Now execute this cell and you can see that the feed forward network is created with the help of nn.linear module. Let's move forward and discuss about PyTorch nn.linear activation. PyTorch nn.linear activation function is defined as the process which takes the input and output attributes and prepares the matrix. The nn.preloop is used as an activation function that creates the network and also fits the complex data. Now, let us understand the concept of PyTorch nn.linear activation with the help of an example. Here is our example. So firstly, we will import all the necessary libraries such as import torch, import torch.nn, import torch.nn.functional. After importing all the necessary libraries, here we are declaring the variable using torch.tensor function. And then we are calling the softmax activation function and after that we are calling the sigmoid activation function and after that we are calling 10h activation function and then we are calling relu activation function and in the last we are calling leaky relu activation function and after that we are creating a model class by using init and forward methods and then we are using the activation function directly in the forward path. Now execute this cell and you can see that the PyTorch nn.linear activation values are printed on the screen. Now move forward and discuss about PyTorch nn.linear sigmoid. PyTorch nn.linear sigmoid is a non-linear function and the activation function for a neuron is the sigmoid function. It always gives the output of the unit in between 0 and 1. Now, let us understand the concept of the PyTorch nn.linear sigmoid with the help of an example to clear our doubt. Here is our example. So firstly, we will import the library as import torch. After importing the library, here we are declaring the variable x and y by using torch.random and torch.sigmoid function. And then we want to create a model class by using init and forward methods. And then we create an instance of the model. And after that, we are declaring the x and y variable by using torch.random function. Now execute this cell and you can see that the pytorch nn.linear sigmoid value is printed on the screen. Now move forward and discuss about pytorch nn.linear in underscore features. pytorch nn.linear in underscore features is defined as a process that applies a linear change to incoming data. In underscore feature is a parameter that is used as the size of the every input sample. Now, let us understand the concept of PyTorch nn.linear in underscore features with the help of an example to clear our doubt. Here is our example. So firstly, we will import all the necessary libraries such as import torch and import torch.nn. After importing the library, here we are declaring a variable by using torch.tensor function. And then we are describing the variable n by using nn.linear function. Now execute this cell and you can see that the pytorch nn.linear in underscore feature data is printed on the screen. So with this, we have learned about pytorch nn.linear. If this video was helpful, please like the video. Also subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this one. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.